My name is Mike Markin. Uh, my wife and I built this car. This is a 1938 Graham Model 97. Uh, used to be nicknamed a Shark Nose Graham. When we started with the car, uh, it was originally a four-door sedan. Graham had plans to build a traditional two-door coupe, but the sales just weren't there enough, so they never went into production. So basically what we did is we crafted a, a, a two-door coupe out of a four-door sedan. We built the doors first. We removed the rear doors and, and extended the length on this particular door, and we also converted this to a suicide door. In our conversion process, this portion of the this door actually was from the rear door. We grafted it on here so that when we slid the roof forward, we'd have a nice fit here with the opera window. In order to do that, we took 26 inches out of this roof and then brought it forward to fit. All of the trim on the car was custom made for the car. I would tell you that absolutely everything on this car has either been modified, remade, or created for the car except two pieces and that's two pieces of glass that are found in the headlights. We also made some changes to the fenders. We added a scallop back here to give it more of a sense of motion. And we did the same thing to the rear tires as well. Actually back here it was kind of a boxy rear end because we had uh, uh, fender skirts on the car, but we wanted that uniformity and that sense of, of motion to the car. Up front we made a, a tremendous amount of adjustments up here to the front of the car. This was the next big area that we adjusted. The Shark Nose Graham originally had grill bars that ran down the length of the of the hood and we eliminated those and we also pancaked the hood made it shorter or didn't sit as tall uh, by about one and three quarters inches. In the front here this bezel uh, we custom made this bezel originally Graham had six pieces on their bezel and their bezel actually did one of the pieces scalloped way back here maybe about an inch further but uh, I wanted one piece and we added this crown to it to give it sort of a unique look. The other thing we did is we, we made our own grill for this car. Uh, it's reminiscent of what Graham did. Uh, we kept sort of their theme that they had, but we took out the shark's nose. It was a really severe slant back. We rounded it off and gave it a little more Art Deco styling to that. The dash on the car is from a 1937 Lincoln Zephyr. We heavily modified the dash, eliminated the glove boxes, the ashtrays, uh, and reconfigured it for the fitment of this particular car. We have a center console inside the car here. The console itself houses a radio head, a vintage air control system, and it also has all the buttons to raise and lower the windows and things like that. Underneath the hood, we have a big block Chevy 540 dark polished aluminum engine with a lot of, a lot of chrome pieces on it. The air cleaner is, is custom made for the car. It's a play on our fenders as well as the nose of the car. Underneath, in the rear, we've got a, a Jaguar style independent suspension system made by Kugel Components and we also are using their independent front suspension. For the, uh, for the transmission, we're using a 700R4 automatic transmission uh, which rounds it out. And the engine puts out about 578 pounds of torque off the line, so we're able to get from one point to the other point pretty quickly.